Hey guys, there's a new quest available and it's called In Stitches and it says, are your sims up to the task of quilt making? And this is finally out. I believe that in the preview, the trailer that they gave us for the Sims Free Play website, this was actually supposed to come first before um, the bird feeding quest, but it actually came afterwards. So today it came out. Really exciting. And we're completing this quest within the specific time in order to unlock a patchwork teddy, which is shown in the picture right here. And they give you about five days to finish that. And um, we also are completing this quest overall to unlock the quilting hobby and other items like that. So you see that in the picture below. Um, so anyway, the first goal is to, it says life is feeling just a little bit tougher than usual today in Simtown. Call a friend to vent. So I am in our lovely couple's house. We're going to have one of them call a friend to vent. And it says call a friend right here for three minutes. So let's see. Yeah, call a friend to vent. And this only takes three minutes, so we'll come back then. All right, the next task, it says bring us into the park. How strange, the line got crossed and an old sim answered the phone. She seems so happy with life that it's hard not to feel a bit jealous of her. There's gotta be a reason why. Did she mention she likes the park? She did mention she likes the park, why not try there? Get a sim to the park and see what's happening. So let's go into neighborhood mode and bring our sim to the park. It is nighttime for me, so it's going to be a little bit dark at the park, but I might even have a sim there. We're going to check it out. And I haven't played for a while, so there's a bunch of XPs and simoleons that are waiting to be collected. And a lot of my sims are going to be housebound. But we brought our sim to the park. The next task is to gaze serenely on a park bench. Here we are at the park then. There sure seems to be a lot of relaxing things to explore here, but your sim head is abuzz with noise. One of these park benches seem like a good place to sit and think about what to investigate first. Gaze serenely, gaze serenely at a park bench. So we're going to bring our sim to a park bench, and there's the option of gazing serenely, and it takes 21 hours and 36 minutes, giving you 1,300 XPs. Just wanted to give a quick shout out on people who have been watching my other videos and giving me positive feedback. Thanks for that. Ask a sim about the serene gaze. Did you see the sim sitting there on the bench? They sure looked peaceful as if all the worries of the world were just melting away. Question another sim about the serene gaze on their face. So we're going to try and bring over another sim that is not housebound, but it's... <laughs> We found one sim that's on housebound. We're going to bring her over to ask this sim about the, about the gaze. And for some reason, asking about a gaze cost takes about 14 hours, which is kind of weird. But yeah, um, the time limits a lot of you guys have been kind of talking about and um, questioning. And I do understand that because there's no way that a gaze takes 21 hours and there's no way that asking about it takes 14 hours. But again, it's just the way that The Sims Free Play is getting um, people to be more invested in their game. So we'll let this happen. Next task is to bake an apple pie. Interesting, it seems the park has an incredibly calming effect on a sim. Perhaps there are more things to explore here, but first it's time to give a hungry sim some food. Have a sim bake an apple pie at home. Let's go back into neighborhood mode. And I will see which house I want to use. I'll probably go back to that house because it was a good one. Why not? So we'll go back into that house, call our sim back home, and we'll go ahead and bake a pie. Let's call her back. So an apple pie. So we're going to go into the kitchen, go to the stove, and find the apple pie. And it's sort of near the beginning, it takes 40 minutes, only costs 19 simoleons. If you guys don't have a stove, it is in the kitchen section of the furniture store. You go towards the middle, and it starts at 350 simoleons. Alrighty, our next task is to give some pie to another sim. It's strange, but making that apple pie felt strangely soothing. The patchwork took look of the lattice pastry and the warm, soft deliciousness really can soothe the sim's jingle nerves from time to time. Your sim made too much pie though, give some pie to another sim. I'm gonna call the other sim over. We're gonna switch over to her and click on give pie. It takes one hour 
I did change the weather here into snowing because I just felt like it. Next up is to feed the ducks. It was super nice of that sim to give over the pie and all, but sadly they gave it to the sim with an apple allergy. Take the slice to the park and give it to the ducks. They'll probably get really hyper over all the sugar as an added bonus too. So again, we're going to go back into neighborhood mode as my sim is flexing, and we're going to go into the park and try and give the pie to the ducks. Call over that sim. It says feed the ducks. And it takes 15 minutes. Again, if you guys don't have the park, you're going to have to buy it. And we'll have our sim come over and feed the ducks the apple pie. Kind of a strange concept, but we'll go ahead and do it anyways. Seeing that sim sitting there in the warm air feeding those ducks looked really comforting, although it's nighttime, it's a little bit cold. That image is locked into your sim's mind, but only for the moment. Get your sim to paint a picture of it before they forget all about it. To paint a picture, you'll need an easel. You can buy one in the Promotions R Us store located in the Sim Town map. So I do have a house with an easel, so I'm going to bring the Sim over and we can use that easel. Um, again, if you guys don't have the easel, you can just go into the hobby store and it's going to look like this and you can just go ahead and buy it. But we will bring the that sim over, go all the way to where the easel is, click on it and click paint for three hours. That teddy bear does look really colorful and I'm excited for this in stitches quest, seems really fun. Interesting that the icon is an R. It looks like an R, but it actually is a th thread going through a needle. So we'll have our sim come over, and she's going to start painting. So we'll leave her to that. Freak out over an amazing picture. Did you see that incredible colorful painting? It's enough to put a sim into one of the best movies of their simmy little lives. Get a sim to freak out over the amazing picture. Just gonna freak out for a minute. It looks like it is the painting of possibly someone who is in relation to the Sims free play development team, um, because it is a picture, a portrait of a woman. But nobody that I recognize. New task is to draw out a chess game. Look at that sim freaking out like that. They looked far too excited to be looking at a bunch of colors slapped on a canvas page. A long, drawn-out, peaceful game of chess is what level-headed sim really needs. Head over to a chessboard and play a long, drawn-out game of chess. If your senior sims are taking a while to get around, tr try inspiring to get those feet moving in. Again, we don't have to use the senior sims. I am using my current adult sim only for this quest, whereas in the last quest I was using my adult, my senior sim and it did take a little bit of a of a while for the tasks to complete because they were moving around kind of slow. But again, it says that if you inspire them, um, it should they should move around a little bit more quickly. So we'll just call our friend over and have her play a long drawn out game of chess. And it is going to take one day. Um, you have to go to some place where there is a chessboard. Again, um, for that previous part, if you guys went to the hobby store and got the easel in order to retrieve it, you will go into your inventory, and it's going to be under the hobbies, and you will find it here, and the easel will look like this, and it's going to be free after you get it from the hobby store. And for those of you who don't know where the chest is, it's going to be in the living room section, and you're going to scroll all the way to the end, and your chest board will be there. You do need some chairs. You need a place where you can um, put it in your house that has room for two ch for chairs, and you can put a chair there. And again, it's right here, three hundred simoleons. Cool, we got an LP from that. 
Next task is to high five a simp. That was an amazing game of chess. The pattern on the chessboard really jumped out too, kind of like patchwork, you might say. High five a simp to celebrate how awesome that chess game was. So again, a lot of the the this wording is to. Um, I guess you can't high five. Mm, oh, it might seem like you actually have to create a relationship in order to high five the sim. So in order to high five a sim, you have to at least, I believe, be their queens. Let's try and do this. Let's be nice to the sim and see what happens from there. All right, so you actually have to be friends with the sim when you, before you can high five them. So for those those of you who don't see the high five option, do have two sims who are friends high five each other. All right, um, and next task is to call the old sim back. One can help but notice there have been a lot of happy sims around the place lately. The warm expression of relaxing sim in the park, the comforting taste of the apple pie, the colorful look of the freakishly amazing painting and the patchwork pattern of a traditional chess game. Warm, comforting, colorful, and pattern. There's something in that, but how is a sim supposed to know how to put it all together? That old sim from before knew about that happiness. Get a sim to call the old sim back. Old sim? Not sure exactly what they're talking about. Call the old sim back. Alrighty, um, let's go back to our main character and go to the phone. And it says, oh, there it is, the option to call the old sim. 10 hours and 40 minutes, so we'll have her do that. Again, for those of you who don't have a phone, it is in the electronic section, which is the third tab over from the social, it's going to be social, um, bathroom, and then electronics, and the telephones are all the way at the end, starting at 200 simoleons. All right, next task is to get overexcited at another sim. That old sim is just one smart cookie. They said a patchwork quilt is just what your sims are looking for. Have two sims get overexcited at one another. Ooh, I forgot to read all that. Upon hearing this revelation. So, get overexcited is the last option, and it was never there before. It's only going to be av available for this particular quest. So, let's be overexcited. My sim stinks a little. Next task is search for quilting online. A quilt may be distilled elements of happiness itself in a colorful jamboree of comfort and creativity. But how on earth does this sim make one? Search for quilting on the internet quick smart. So let's have our sim go to a source of internet. I have my computer right here. We're going to search for quilting, which is the one on the upper right hand. 4 hours 27 minutes gives us... 320 XPs. Mmm, refreshing water. Nothing better. Let's see what we found out. It says, drive to the other, to the quilt though. According to the f infinite wisdom of the interwebs, there seems to be some kind of quilt making fair happening right now. Ha, huh, cool. The only bad news is that it's miles out of town, but there's still time. Have a sim drive to the quilt making fair. So we do have a car here. I'm going to have our sim go into this hearse and drive to the quilt fair, and it's going to take a day. Um, and we will let her drive around for a day. We'll see if we can follow her. Not sure if we can, but... In order to follow a sim that is driving, you just click on her, and let's see if we can find her. There you go, we can still find her, and she is leaving the musical notes, so we are able to collect simoleons from this. Again, we see the plum bob right there, can definitely follow. Um, for those of you guys who don't have a car, you are going to have to buy one, and in order to do so, you have to build the car station. So... You're going to have to buy the auto dealership, which was at that plot that I just showed you, and you're going to have to buy it from here, place it at your sim's house, and then go to that house. So we'll have her finish, and you can follow her, although it's going to take a little bit of time, but you can follow her and collect all the simoleons that come out from the music. New task, make a fancy coffee. That quilt fair was very informative, exhausted, though your sim may be there excited about this to sleep now. Have a fancy coffee to keep those sim eyeballs wide open. I'm going to go back to our sim. Hopefully she's back home. 
and we're gonna have her have some coffee and the type that we needed was the fancy coffee so we're gonna click on the machine and click on fancy coffee in this particular machine it is three minutes for those of you guys who don't have a coffee machine go into the kitchen keep going toward the end and you're gonna see some coffee machines in the middle right here starting at 750 simoleons and it has a Z's next to it which means that it will replenish your um, if your sims are sleepy it'll help them keep them a little bit more um, awake Alrighty, the new task is to grow some potatoes. According to the quilt fair, any quilt maker worth their salt needs strong hands to really callous a sim's mitts they need to dig around the soil. That's a strange sentence. Grow some potatoes. So we're going to have our sim go into the backyard and grow some tomatoes. Potatoes. Potatoes? Potatoes. Potatoes, right? Yeah, there you go. All right. So we'll have her come here. Um, thanks to you guys who, again, if you guys haven't watched my Valentine's Day video, definitely check it out because this is the Sims. This is the Sim that's featured in that video. So thanks for all the positive feedback for that. Did get a lot of you guys who, um, like the video, and I'll show you the you the names of the people who enjoyed the Valentine's Day video at the end of this video. Sweet. Heat hands in warm water. Another tidbit from the quilt fair is, it turns out heating your hands in warm running water to make them more adept at sewing fantastic quilts is a thing. Is that really a thing? Worst case scenario, your sim will have sparkling clean hands, so let's find out if it's true. Heat a sim's hand in warm water. So let us go to the bathroom or the sink, kitchen sink, and uh, heat up our hand in warm water. And that's a new option, again, just for this task, and it takes 14 minutes. For those of you who don't have a sink, you can either get it in the kitchen area, not the kitchen area, the countertops. You'll see some sinks in the countertop, and you also will see it in the bathroom if you go towards the end. So those are some options. We're together. The cheapest one is 100 simoleons in the bathroom store. And you just have your sim do this for 14 minutes. New task is to play Quilting Mama game. The hands are ready, but your sims need training. Since they are not old enough to do real quilting yet, they'll have to practice in the virtual world by playing the latest quilt-related motion-controlled video game. Quilting Mama. Play Quilting Mama on a TV. So, of course, it's relating to a console. So, we're going to click on our TV and play Quilting Mama, and that's going to take 10 hours. I guess it's supposed to be similar to the Wii, and since the chair was kind of in the way, she's kind of just doing it on the side. <laughs> Alright, our next task is to get the quilting kit. All set, the Sims are excited and colorful patchworks are set to flood everybody's lives with joy. Get the quilting kit so the senior Sims can start making life into a quilted reality for everyone. And we can find it at the Promotions RS store. Only Senior Sims can use it. We're going to go and try and find it at the Promotions RS store. Going into the neighborhood view. And Promotions RS have not gone there for a while. So let's try and find out where exactly that is again. Not this one. Alright. So, um, again, if you guys... This is the same place. I call it the Hobby Store, but it's called Promotions RS. And this is the same store. If you guys don't have it, you do have to get it. Um, it's right next to the animal shop. And um, this is the same place where you get the easel at for 700 simoleons. That was required for the earlier task. But the quilting kit is 2,500 simoleons. So we're just going to get one and click enter, purchase these items. And that gave us one LP. And it says, congratulations, you've earned the quilting hobby. Now your sims can quilt to their heart's content. And for finishing their quest in record time, you've unlocked an exclusive patchwork teddy. Find it in the home store. So let's go back to the house that we were just at. It's kind of the house that I put my seniors in, and we'll go ahead and put the quilt out. And again, for anything from the Promotions RS store, you get it in the inventory, and you have to go to the hobby section. And I have some stuff in here, but there is a quilting kit. I'm not sure where to put it quite yet. Let's see. 
maybe upstairs somewhere. We'll just put it here in one of our Sims bedrooms for now. That's what it looks like. Very cool. I think I'm going to move some things around. Anyway, that is what that looks like. So you can definitely have your sim go on it and work on some quilt. I will show you what that looks like really quick. And let's go and find our teddy bear. Um, ooh, it's 28,000 simoleons. That's costly, to say the least. That's what that looks like. Um, can't really do anything with it for, with my adult sims. But uh, I'll give you a sneak peek of what it looks like for my sim to be quilting, and then we will be, that will be the end of our quest. And yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, and hopefully this one doesn't take too much time. Although if it is taking a while, you can definitely just leave your sim to do whatever they have to do, and go and do homework or whatever you, you guys have to do. And again, since it is our senior sim, um, it is going to take a little bit of a while for them to get there unless they are inspired. So, we'll have her start quilting. Ooh. Definitely a lot of patchwork that we can see here. Alright, thank you guys for watching this video. This is what this looks like. And let's check out the quilting hobby. It looks like we are able to complete the first set, which has level six levels. And again, you need a senior to do this. And once we finish this, we will get the lazy patch chair after the first set. Very cool. Thanks for watching, guys. Also, a special shout out to these viewers specifically who commented on my Valentine's Day video. I said that I would mention you guys, so thanks for commenting and supporting my videos. Um, I know it's sort of a controversial topic, especially for kids, but I'm a full supporter of LGBT rights and equality, and I appreciate that The Sims Free Play and EA Games in general support it and have featured it in all of their videos and all of their games so i'm a definite supporter and thank you guys who do watch who support my channel as well so thanks and i hope you guys have a great day